I'm back again just with a little setup video for my Filofax Cavendish. Now this will change, it's just kind of my first attempt at setting this up, so there's a few things that still need tweaking, but I'll show you um, what I've done. I've popped a couple of pens in there, in the pen loops. I've got a Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pen in Sapia. I uh, usually I use a black one, um, but I happened to find this one in a drawer which I bought for um, drawing with and haven't really used it for drawing. So I thought I'd um, use it in my planner instead because my black one's had it now, <laughs> I need to get a new one. Um, so yeah, I've got another pen here which is just a black um, ordinary biro type pen but it's a nice like copper or rose gold colour. I've got a couple of clips, a couple of stickers and um, some days of the week stamps in there. Little dashboard I made and also the plastic um, Filofax flyleaf that came with it. At the moment I have got the Filofax dividers but they will get changed at some point and they're not actually being kept um, as the sections that they say on them. So I'll show you what um, I am actually using in each section. The first one, instead of diary, it's actually going to be like an inbox, so it's kind of brain dump, um, little notes and that type of thing. Uh, anything important I need to remember or jot down can just go in the front. So I've just got a selection of different note papers and to-dos in the front. Then at the back of that, I have pull out a file of facts um, yearly sp spread there so obviously I need to fill that in yet and then after that we get onto the calendar and at the moment um, I'll be trying a few things out so I've got these Coco Daisy um, pages here which is a day on two pages um, I bought them from someone in a planner group, so I thought I would use these um, as they've just been sitting unused. But also I've got these um, dot pages here, which I'm going to try and do like a bullet journal style. And I'll just be doing either a day on a page or maybe two days per page with these. Um, I have used these um, previously for a little while and another personal size Vilofax and I, I did did like using those apart from I'd quite like them in white rather than this cream colour. Um, anyway, after that I have got the Vilofax week on one page with notes um, which is different from what I was previously using because previously I was just using um, a week on two pages and now this is a week on one with your notes and I wasn't using the daily pages as well um, but I decided I can just pop in like the most important tasks on here and anything I've got to do on a certain day uh, specific appointments and things and then if I've got a day where I don't really need to be um, writing anything much down, I can just use this. And for days where I'm a lot busier and I've got a lot more tasks to accomplish, then I can use this in conjunction with um, the day on one page or the Coco Daisy day on two pages. So yeah, I've got that. I've also ordered some um, monthly inserts as well because um, I like to have those in as well, which um, I always have in my A5. So yeah, I've got the whole year of Filofax inserts. Um, I may take it out, so I've only got six months, just to give myself a little bit more space. So this is going to be the setup I'm trying. And then in the next section, it's going to be future planning. And I'll probably also put birthdays in there and yeah, just anything I need to plan for the future. But I'm not maybe quite sure where it's going to go in, but it has to go in at some point. So that will be there. In this section here, it's going to be lists. So if you're familiar with bullet journals, it'll be like collections, you know, books to read and, and things like that. So that's just got a lot of um, plain paper in there at the moment. So I obviously need to... Um, fill it all in and then this finances section I have kept but I don't know if I'll actually keep this in permanently I'll probably merge it with another section 
Um, but for now, anyway, I've got a finance section just to keep track of my spending. And then at the back, the last section um, is personal uh, instead of the addresses, but although it will still have addresses in there and it's going to have also like passwords for uh, websites and things like that. And I've also kept in this um, map, which was in the planner when I bought it. So I've kept that in. I've never had one of the Filofax maps before, so I'm leaving that in there. And then these are just a few oddments which I may put in the front of my planner. And then I've got a few stickers, not many, some post-its on the back uh, flyleaf, which is also like a page lifter. And then in the back, I've just got some notes I made up about how I wanted to set up my Filofax and some stickers. And there's also um, this stencil under here, which is, um, if I can get it out, I think that was Love Cynthia. So that's like for, I would use that probably for um, a week on two pages if I was going to use that, but I could use it for other setups. So yeah, that's how it's set up for now. It will change um, a bit more. Um, I'm going to get a different dashboard and set this up a bit differently and at some point either make or buy some different dividers. But as I'm using A5, the plan is to see how I get on with this and sustain it for at least a month. Because um, I am actually wanting to invest in a van der Speck planner and it'll either be the personal size with the 30mm rings or the A5, which they call the manager, with 35mm rings. So basically I want to see how I get on with a personal planner with 30mm rings and if this can actually work for me as a main planner rather than having an A5. And then, yeah, I'm intending to invest in a van der Speck. Um, I was thinking of just getting the range that they call Touch Me, which is like a pre-made range. I think it's, it's made elsewhere, but with the leathers that they use. And it's a, you know, a fairly good way into getting a Van der Speck planner. Um, but they don't have stiffener in, and I'm not sure if they'll be a little bit too floppy for me. Um, so what I'm going to do first is order some leather samples of the Touch Me range of leathers and also some of the other colours. Um, other leathers, sorry, and I'll see what I like best. But as I said, I need to try this first and really make my mind up if I'm going to um, be okay in a personal size planner with the 30mm rings or if I am better spending the money on an A5 planner. Um, but either way, I think this is a planner that I will be keeping in my collection and I will find another use for it if I find after a month or so that it, it can't be my main planner. But hopefully it will. Um, it's really nice. So I'm pleased with it and um, I'm going to enjoy setting it up properly. I may do another little walkthrough for you. Um, that's all for it now though. Thank you. Bye.